Hello guys, you are watching Mentoring Engineering Design and today we will be modeling this Mayonnaise in SOLIDWORKS so let's start I will do this in part module and not in the assembly as we are going to 3D print this in the single part so let's start with the sketch on front plane and select the rectangle it applies dimensions are 23 millimeters and 23 millimeters exit the sketch extruded boss and select the mid plane like this now select the chamfer and apply chamfer on 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 all of these sides edges and make it three now again select the chamfer and select this face and instead select the diameter and diameter and apply chamfer of 2 and 6 millimeters to one side and again on the other side as well select diameter and diameter Select 2 and 6 millimeters and exit the sketch. Now we will add some detailing for the Mayonnaise. Select line and make some set of lines here like this and, and make a line from center to the region. Convert into for construction and convert it into vertical. Now select these two lines and make them equal and collinear. Now apply a dimension of 1.25 millimeters here and make this 5. Yes, and exit the sketch, go into extruded cut and make a cut of 0.5 millimeters, make it thin. Select mid plane and we are good to go. Now select this and apply mirror. Select the right plane. Now select the top face and make a circle on the origin. Give it a dimension of 10 millimeters. Exit the sketch, extrude it. 1 millimeter select direction 2 offset from surface select the bottom surface give it a dimension of 2 and reverse the offset now we'll make a another detail here select this face and select the arc make an arc here now again make another arc just make sure that the other end of this arc is is on the origin now make a third arc and now make the set of lines like this now make sure that you convert these lines into for construction otherwise they will interfere with when you will convert into 3d now select these lines and make all of them equal to each other like this now apply a radius of five millimeters of of five millimeters to two of these arcs and use a dimension of 10 millimeters here another thing is just select the origin and the top convert into vertical and convert it into for construction and now apply a dimension to this line make it 6.5 and make a radius to this arc as well so this 
sketch is now fully constrained and we can convert it into the any 3d feature so select extruded cut and select thin feature mid plane now select these areas like this maybe we will be reducing the depth 2.5 like this now select this and select mirror sorry mirror and select right plane now we have these details here now i'll make in some additional details here on this face so select this face and select sketch make three set of lines now draw a line from center to center on these lines and convert them into a vertical and for construction equal vertical and for construction now you can give them a dimension from this edge 0.5 or maybe more 1.5 yes exit the sketch select extruded boss mid plane and 0.25 sorry 0.5 here and 0.25 here now we'll be needing an axis here so make an axis select the right plane and top plane so now we have the axis here select this extruded thin select circular pattern select this axis and give it a 90 degree angle select 4 and now we have these details here as well you can select this and mirror it for the other side like this so we are done with the upper part now I'll make this handle for this hammer select this and make a sketch give it a dimension of 8 millimeters diameter
now select linear pattern and go into bodies I just applied some colors to it. You can now just generate an STL file. If you, or if you want to change its size, you can just go into this features here and find the scale command here. And you can make it bigger or smaller. So you can just 3D print this. You can use it as your keychain. I did one for myself and here are the pictures. So I hope you guys learned something. So thank you for supporting and take care.